up guys it's groovy dominoes 52 and today i want to share with you my latest project that i've been working on with tango mango for a week so as you may or may not know i have just remade squid game but here's the catch every player you see in the game are actually just npcs or bots yes these are not real people playing so in short, I remade the whole Squid Game but with NPCs. 456 NPCs to be exact. And boy, I hope my PC survives. Now additionally, I asked my subscribers in a community post a couple of days ago if they want to join in. And if they do, they have to submit their act. So we just randomly pick 456 of you and turn you guys into NPCs. Why 456? Because that's the amount of players in the real Squid Game series. So please stop complaining in the comments. But without further ado, let's start spawning the players or NPCs. Look how many players this is. I really hope my PC doesn't crash mid-game. Alright, now that everyone is here, let me explain what is going on for those who haven't watched Squid Game yet. So, all 456 players must try and survive 6 mini-games until the end. However, there can only be one winner. And the winner will be given 1,000 Bobux if they make it to the end. And the Bobux will be given to their actual account. Not you NPCs, of course. So if you guys lose, don't blame me. Blame the NPCs. Anyways, let's move to round one. And from there, I will be explaining the rules of the minigame. So round one is, of course, red light green light if you hear the music then you can move forward if the music stops you stop moving if you fail to follow you will be eliminated and there's also a two minute timer so you have to be quick lastly the percentage on top of their heads is the sanity meter the higher the percentage the higher chance they will survive anyways that's enough talk let's start the round oh yeah also we have carl over here for uh good measures uh but anyways let's start round one in three, two, one, go. All right, as you can see, it's pretty laggy. All right, I'm the, the game is running at like 20 FPS when they start moving, and yes, they do chat. It's pretty cool. All right, good luck, guys. Oh, uh, looks like we have our first uh, death over here. Well, actually, not first, but very nice. All right. Oh, this, these people are still moving. Okay, they got eliminated. Alright, we got a, a, already a lot of people dying. You, you guys still have a long way to go. Almost halfway there. We also have people over here, uh, just chilling in the tree. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think you'll survive just by staying there, buddy. You have to go move. There's a timer. Oh, look at that. Look at those deaths. We also have an another person. Well, actually, two people three people okay what are you guys doing all right all right they're making it looks like we have our first few people who made round one all right let's see all right lots of people are actually making round one not big surprise it's this is too easy even though um, a lot of people are still dying over here oh memer man 902 just died all right this guy is not moving Come on. You only have like 15 seconds left. Alright, there you go. We also have this guy stuck in a tree that just died. Alright then. Looks like uh looks like the coast is clear. We can probably move to round two. But first let's check out the survivors in round one. Very nice. So you can see we have a lot of survivors actually. But let's see if they can beat round two. Now round two is a honeycomb. The rules are simple. You have to cut the honeycomb to a star shape smoothly. If you mess up, then you mess up. Alright, so yeah. Let's start round two in three, two, one, go! Alright, so as you can see here, it's actually animated. You can see the... The sickle uh, moving. It's pretty cool. And I'll even show it on the screen. We even have lots of people dying already. This guy said this cat stepped on the keyboard not a good not a good excuse 
Okay. Oh, all right. They're starting to stand. They're starting to finish. Okay. All right. Looks like it's complete. These are the survivors of round two. Good job, guys. But it's gonna get even harder as we go. All right. So let's move on to round three. Round three. Tug of war. Basically, the remaining players will be split into two teams that will be competing against each other. And your goal is to pull as hard as you can so the opposing team falls to their doom. So yeah, let's start round three in three, two, one, go! Oh, already there's a lot of energy with the pulling. Alright, so far they are still in, they're still in good condition. Alright, oh, it's not looking good for team two. They're, they're pretty much halfway. Alright, they're, they're clutching, they're clutching. Okay, we also have team one over here. Um, they're pulling as hard. Team two is pulling hard as they can. And now on to team one with all the strength. Oh, it's not looking good for team two. They're, they're close. Oh, are they gonna clutch it? They're getting closer. Oh, oh, that's it for team two. Sorry, team two. But looks like team one gets to move on to round four. Here are the survivors. Very pretty epic, if I say so myself. Anyways, moving on. Round four is pretty simple. It's just a guessing game, honestly. The remaining players will be grouped in pairs and one owns a bag of marbles, the other one doesn't. The person who doesn't have a bag of marbles has to guess each time whether the amount of the marbles in the bag is an even or odd number. If they guess it right more times than the opponent, they can move on to the next round. If they don't, then they don't. So yeah, this is a paired mini game, but uh, if there's an odd amount of players, then the odd one gets to uh skip this round so in this case there is actually an odd person this guy looks like you get to move on to round five after this you lucky person and pc actually uh but <laughs> let's start round four in three two one go all right so you're gonna see the marbles start decreasing and also uh, the npcs guessing what answer what the answer what the correct answer is all right you can see the marbles already decreasing there's already only one marble here they're gonna start dying okay okay looks like yeah looks like uh everyone's dying now okay and that's about it here are the survivors good job on on uh guessing it right so yeah here are the survivors in round four pretty epic pretty epic I'll, oh i just realized this guy has the pilot hat that's pretty cool that's pretty groovy uh hi it's me your ness okay yeah let's move on to round five now on round five it's another guessing game but this time players will have to guess between two glass panels on which one won't collapse when they jump on it or which one will they have one minute and 30 seconds to race to the end because only the first two people will be qualified and also pushing is not against the rule so be careful all right here we are in round five let's start round five in three two one go all right you guys have to start moving because there is a timer like i said oh looks like the groovy guy with the pilot hat died so sad Come on, guys. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. He, he almost saved himself from that. But it looks like... Um, looks like he, he actually didn't. These people are, so far are making some good guesses. Oh, someone got pushed. Well, that's not... That's not against the rules, so... Oh. We only have, like, s seven people left. You guys better hurry up. The time is ticking. Okay. Make a decision. It's only the last platform that you have to decide. So let's see if they get it right. Oh, they actually got, did it. They actually got it right. Come on. Just one more. Alright. One more. Come on. Just jump. It's not that hard. What are you, what are you doing? This guy is gonna beat you. This guy... Alright. He looks like he did beat you. Alright. Nice job, guys. Nice job, uh... 
Lelar and Quirky blocks. Looks like you guys are pretty lucky. But now let's move on to the last round. Last round. Round 6. The final duel. Now the rules of this game will be a bit different from the real Squid Game because of scripting limitations. It's actually more like skill limitation but yeah. So there are only two players in this round. Hence why only the first two people from round 5 are qualified. Now each one will be assigned as defense or offense. Defense will be spawned at the circle on top of the triangle and must keep the opposing player from tapping on it by pushing the opposing player out of the square or castle or whatever this thing is now offense will be spawned right over here and must reach the top of the triangle and tap on the circle without being pushed or walking out of the area yeah so here we are in the last round we have here lelor as defense and we have here quirky blocks as offense let's see how this goes the round will be starting in five, five four, four three, three. Two, two, one, one go. go! All right, let's see. Okay, we got some tech. We got Lilar already pushing Quirty Blocks, but looks like Quirty Blocks passed him, and looks like we have our winner on Squid Game. Quirty Blocks 24. He even has a Philippine flag in his hat. That's now that is true. Uh, gamer, I I don't know what gamer is in Filipino, but good job but yeah congratulations to whoever this guy is you win 1000 bobux and even if you didn't make it in the video you guys are pretty epic for subscribing so thank you for that but anyways i will be putting the ranks in the description below and it will show everyone who is in the game and where they died what place they're in so yeah be sure to check out the description and see if you guys are there Anyways, that's all. Thank you everyone for the support on this. And congratulations to everyone who didn't play because they're NPCs. And also, I would like to thank everyone for 200,000 subscribers. You guys are seriously amazing. Let me know if you guys want to see me maybe live stream this next time. And we will be choosing players in the live chat if we ever decide to stream it. But speaking of streaming, I want to apologize about the delay with the NPC hangout event that we were planning last October. There's just a lot of technical difficulties going on, but if we can, we'll try to do the event on November 27, 9 or 10 a.m. Eastern time zone. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Cause please come back to me. I know that I am wrong. I just can't understand a single thing you say. And even if I try, we'll never be as good. And even if I'm sorry, I'll always hurt you in some way. I just don't understand what I did wrong. That's why I'm sorry, my bro.